Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to select and edit vertical blocks in SQL Server Management Studio. Let's open SSMS and here I have written some code. I'm selecting from different tables from the same database. So this is a very simple select query. And now what I realize, okay, these three first queries, they should not be using a test db1 um, they should be using a test db5 or maybe uh, sales database so i need to make a change for this uh, database name also maybe i would like to make a change for the schema so i can do that as well now one thing uh, i can select uh, this part uh, and press ctrl f that will find uh, this uh, test db1 and then i can go ahead and uh, quickly replace uh, now if I will replace and hit say replace all or I have to replace one at a time. So think about that. Let's say we will, would like to replace with the sales. If I will say replace all, it is going to replace all. That's not what I would like. So I'm going to press uh, control Z, come back again. And now I'm, I'm going to click from here. So let's say this part and then uh, replace then uh, press again and uh, keep pressing so you see that if i have uh, uh, 10 or 20 changes uh, i have to press one replace at a time or if i will replace all it will replace everything but ssms does provide us uh, uh, functionality to select the vertical blocks and make change quickly that's great now what we need to do we need to come to the point here and uh, i need to select on the top so i'm coming right here and then pressing uh, or holding uh, alt key on my keyboard then i'm uh, holding uh, the mouse uh, left button and selecting this uh, vertical block so you can see that i can select uh, the vertical block here now once it's done i just uh, uh, i need to simply type or whatever i like to type let's say if we would like to change to sales so you like uh, uh, type a sales and then uh, uh, hit uh, or click anywhere in the window so once I click anywhere the change will be done now you see that it is pointing to the sales database but there is one small problem I noticed here let's do the control Z and if there is a empty lines here between this script and we will do try to make a change what happened now I'm here I'm holding the alt and then I'm selecting these uh, test DB block right here now let's go ahead and type sales if we type sales what you see here it is making changes to the line also it is writing uh, to the blank lines so that's the problem if your code is uh, with each other it's, it's great you can make a change quickly and if there are blank lines that you will have this issue where it will type extra um, whatever you you are trying to replace so that that's where you need to take a look how uh, your code is written if uh, there is no space this work great if there is a space uh, you have to probably use the control F and replace part now thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video